are back here on the West Fork of Ohio Brush Creek. Had a good bit of rain here over the past few days. Water level starting to go back down. Thought we'd try to hit this this morning. It's Saturday, uh, late April. A little chilly out this morning. Water's still a little muddy as you can see, but uh, we'll see how this adventure pans out. Got Scott and Dwayne and I are gonna try to hit it today and we'll see how things go. Hopefully we survive. We're at an area where the water kind of swirls here. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, Scott. I don't know if you can see the uh, waterfall up here at this area called a little, called a swirl hole. You can see the water kind of eddying around and the, the creek goes out behind me here. But uh, you can get a little picture up here. Heading out of the squirrel hole after a nice little break. Just, 
just figure out what we did wrong and then just don't do don't do that. A little interesting there, hitting some rocks. Just about pitched it sideways, but all is good. I think you guys left towels in the other vehicle. It's like a bidet, a refreshing bidet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I just got that other water warmed up. It's <laughs> really not that cold. See, you decide after. <laughs> Don't know if we can get through this way, but we're about to find out. So far, so good. It's a little shallow down here, so we'll see if you can make it through. Yeah, worked 
not good. That's a good choice. I don't think so either. I know I haven't. A little chilly there. Let's see if I can get these guys coming through. Well, the battery on the GoPro died, I think. It quit working, so the rest of the video and the rest of the shots will be shot on my phone. Be a little bit more careful because I don't have any uh, flotation devices or any other attachment to the boat on the phone. So try to get some shots if we can on the way down. But uh, overall, it's been good. The water level's been pretty good. I haven't really had to drag too much. Um, not really anything crazy as far as too dangerous goes. So it's been good. We're Probably about, I don't know, over halfway, maybe three quarters, but, uh, but so far so good. Everybody's surviving. We're getting fairly wet. Water's just kind of splashing into the boat because of how the water's going. But we've had a good time. It's good to be on a creek. Well, we had to make a decision back there. There was a tree down and uh, we could go to the right. Um, so the right worked out pretty well, but it was a uh, nice little detour around an island it looked like. So we're finally back on the main stream. You can hear a 32 there in the background. We also thought someone was throwing rocks in the creek back there, but it was a beaver that was swimming around slapping his tail. So that was kind of cool to see. Didn't get him on video, unfortunately, but I said him, it could be a she. You know, Dwayne, could you tell? <laughs> Weren't close enough to tell. So we're just about, should be pretty close to the end, I would suspect. Uh, just a little ways left. But overall, it's been a really good day.
All right, we finished up. We are uh, in the process of shuttling vehicles back and forth. I dropped Scott off at his truck. I'm going to head to the house. He's going back over to pick up the boats and Dwayne and is going to then head to the house to drop off the kayaks. We figured out it was around five feet. Um, the water level was at 348, which is the closest marker. That was actually a pretty good level. Uh, we think that run was about eight miles. Um, I'll link up uh, the previous video I did on this section above, which probably tells some of those details. But great day on the water, good to be outside, good friends. So until next time, get outside.